mean, it's one of my favorite times of the year. Today, I'm going to be making something really creepy. We're going to be making intestines. I've taken some pizza dough and I've piped in a delicious minced meat or kebab filling. And I'm going to bake this in my oven and cover it with a bloody red sauce. It's absolutely delicious, but it is going to creep all of your friends and family out. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I'm going to start with 500 grams of lean ground beef. You could even use lamb or chicken. I'm going to add a half cup of finely diced onion and I'm going to follow this with a half teaspoon of chili powder a half teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a half teaspoon of cumin powder. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of ginger and garlic paste. Add salt to taste and give it a good mix. Next, I'm going to add one whole egg and I'm going to mix this in to incorporate and once it's well mixed in, I'm going to keep this aside. I have 500 to 600 grams of pizza dough here. You can just use store-bought pizza dough or you could even make it yourself. Pizza dough is very elastic because of the yeast and the gluten and I'm going to divide it to make it easier to roll out. Once I have one piece nice and rolled out, I'm going to fill a disposable piping bag, fit it with a large nozzle. And I'm going to start piping the meat mixture in a straight line. Once I have piped in a straight line, I'm just going to fold over and pinch. I'm now going to work on the rest of the dough, rolling it out. And when it's rolled out, I'm going to pipe it, fill it and seal it. As I work on these strips, I'm just going to keep them aside. If you've watched some of my previous videos, I have used this technique to pipe filling into cigars or spring rolls and I've also done sausage rolls. Now for the fun part. I'm no doctor, but I'm going to pretend that I know exactly what human intestines look like. I'm going to start placing them in a squiggly fashion. This looks perfect, so in my 350 degree oven, it goes. I'm going to bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes, not just so it's brown on the outside, but I want to make sure that the raw meat filling is fully cooked. Once out of the oven, I'm going to cover it with one and a half to two cups of a rich red pasta sauce. Serve immediately. These intestines look creepy, but they're simply delicious. Enjoy and happy Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this deliciously creepy intestines. This is absolutely delicious. Put it on your table and everyone's going to be creeped out. But when they taste it, they're going to realize how amazing it tastes. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, and do share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends so they can enjoy all of these amazing recipes. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.